Boo! <laughs> oh, friends, I hope I didn't scare you because it's time to go on a Bible adventure. Shake your hands high in the sky if you'll go with me. Woohoo! <laughs> now, friends, pretend to put on your adventure bags. <laughs> Wee! Hi, Emily. Hiya, friends. Hi, Shine. What question are we finding the answer to today? It's a good one. What do you say when you're afraid? Hmm. Shine, do you know picture passes that will help us find the answer? I sure do. Open your trunk and I'll give you some clues. <gasps> Friends, you and I will be picture pass guessers together. Here's your first clue. It reminds you of nighttime. Hmm. Friends, which picture pass is it? Great job, friends. It's the moon. Catch it in your adventure bags. Okay, Shine, what's next? This one is something a warrior holds when he's fighting. Hmm. Friends, which one do you think it is? Friends, you're great guessers. It's the shield. Catch it in your adventure bags. Now for the last one. This is what you buckle up with in the car. Hmm, which picture pass is Shine talking about? Friends, you got it. It's the seatbelt. Catch it in your adventure bags. Friends, count with me. One, two, three. Yep, they're all here. Now let's zip our adventure bags together. Now, now it's time, time to, to fly. fly. Whoa. <laughs> Shine, I keep thinking about the question you asked me. What do you say when you're afraid? I know the Bible has a story that can help. The Bible is God's book for you. You can trust. It's right and true. A roaring rescue. That's in the book of Daniel in the Bible. Daniel had to do something really scary. I wonder what he did when he felt afraid. Let's find out. <laughs> God's people disobeyed him. So he let their enemies take them into captivity. They destroyed Jerusalem and carried away many of the Jews to their own country, Babylon. Daniel was one of the Jews in Babylon. He trusted God and prayed to him three times a day. God blessed Daniel and he became a powerful leader in that country. Some leaders were jealous of Daniel, so they made a new law. People could only pray to King Darius. Whoever disobeyed would be thrown into a lion's den. Darius agreed. Daniel still prayed to God and was arrested. Darius was sad. He liked Daniel. He realized he'd been tricked, but couldn't change the law. Daniel was thrown to the lions. The lions roared and crept up to Daniel. Then an angel arrived. It was God who sent him. The angel shut the lions' mouths. Daniel spent the night there unharmed. At daybreak, Darius went to see if Daniel was alive. God sent an angel to save me, Daniel said. The king was thrilled. Daniel was pulled out of the den. Then King Darius had Daniel's enemies thrown into the den. The lions gobbled them up. King Darius told everyone in his kingdom to honor Daniel's powerful living God. Shine, Daniel must have been really afraid of that scary lion's den. But Daniel didn't let fear stop him. He prayed and trusted God. Oh yeah, God helped Daniel say goodbye to fear and do what he needed to do. It sounds like you might know the answer to the question. What do you say when you're afraid? I think I do. Goodbye, fear. God is here. <laughs> Does Guy the Bible Guy know a Bible verse about that? Frizzlin' Razzles, I bet he does. 
See you, Shine. See you, Emily. Come on. <laughs> oh, hi, Emily. Hi, Guy. I'm looking for a Bible verse about a special question. What's the question? What do you say when you're afraid? I know what to say. Goodbye, fear. God is here. <laughs> and I do know a Bible verse about that. Friends, wiggle your ears if you're ready to learn a verse with me. I'm wiggling my ears. Are you wiggling yours? Okay, listen to what God says in Isaiah 41, 13. The Lord your God says to you, do not fear, I will help you. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, say it with me. Isaiah 41, 13. Isaiah 41, 13. The Lord your God, the Lord your God, says to you, says to you, do not fear, do not fear, I will help you. I will help you. Great job, friends. <laughs> now say the whole verse with us. Isaiah 41, 13. The Lord your God says to you, do not fear, I will help you. Friends, you got it. <laughs> Guy, does that mean God will help me every time I'm afraid? He sure will. Whenever you feel fear, you can pray and trust God. There is a time when I need God's help and I feel afraid. I think I have a picture pass about it. Friends, which picture pass reminds us of the nighttime? Super job, friends! It's the moon. I feel afraid when it's really dark at night. Emily, you can still pray and trust God at night, too. <laughs> You're right. God will help me say goodbye to fear. So I don't have to be afraid. Yep, that's what God promises in my favorite book, the Bible. <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye, Guy. Bye, Emily. Bye, friends. Come on. <laughs> To the left. Now to the right. Faster. Whoa. <laughs> nice shot. Thanks, Mr. Stone. Mr. Stone, catch this. Wow. What a kick, Blinky. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll go get it. Spider over there! What's wrong with spiders? I'm super de duper scared of spiders! Will you please go get the ball for me? I would, if I had legs. <laughs> oh, come on, Mr. Stone. What am I gonna do? You'll have to go get the ball even though you're afraid of spiders. But, Mr. Stone! Can't God just make the spider go away so I won't be scared anymore? God doesn't always take spiders away, Blinky. But God will always help you when you're afraid. You just need to pray and trust him. So if I pray and trust God, he'll help me? I don't need to be afraid? That's right. Well, okay. Friends... Will you please pray with me? Thanks, friends. Let's do it. Dear God, please help me get that ball. Even though there's a scary spider over there. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Are you ready, Blinky? Yep. God's gonna help me do what I need to do. You did it! You bet I did! Goodbye, fear! God is here!
friends? Hmm. When I feel afraid, like when it's really dark at night, I can pray and trust God. He'll help me say, Goodbye, fear. God is here. Because God says in his Bible, Isaiah 41, 13, The Lord your God says to you, Do not fear. I will help you. <laughs> Wowie zowie. I think I hear Mr. Music. Come on, let's go. Hi, Mr. Music. Hi, Emily. What are you finding out on your Bible adventure? What do you say when you're afraid? I know. Goodbye, fear. God is here. That's right. Mr. Music, does God help you say goodbye to fear? Yes, he does. When I feel afraid, God helps me fight fear so I can do what I need to do. Fight fear? I think I have a picture pass about that. Friends, which picture pass does a warrior use when they're fighting? That's right, friends. It's the shield. A shield protects a warrior while they fight. But how do you fight fear? You've got to pray and trust God. I know a song about that. <gasps> Friends, clap your hands together if you'd like to sing a song with me. I'm clapping my hands. Are you clapping yours? Okay, friends, here we go. Spooky spiders. Oh, no. Scary snakes. S caves and cobwebs. Uh-uh. Is God here? I'm scared. God is with me. God is with me. He's always here. He's always here. And God helps me. And God helps me. To fight fear. To fight fear. Sing with me, friends. I can pray. I can pray. And trust in God. And trust in God. God helps me. God helps me. Do, do what I need to do. I can pray. I can pray. And trust in God. And trust in God. God helps me. God helps me. Do what I need to do. So spooky spiders. No big deal. Scary snakes. So what? Caves and cobwebs. I'm not scared. Is God here? Yes, he is. God is with me. God is with me. He's always here. He's always here. And God helps me. And God helps me. To fight fear. To fight fear. I can pray. I can pray. And trust in God. And trust in God. God helps me. God helps me. Do what I need to do. I can pray. I can pray. And trust in God. And trust in God. God helps me. God helps me. Do what I need to do. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Now, stand up on your feet to worship God with music, singing, and dancing. For you, I clap and lift my hands. Oh God, for you, I sing and dance. No one is greater, no one is stronger. I worship you.
gonna run, run, run to his love, love, love. I'm gonna sing, sing, sing to God's son. I'm gonna shout, shout, shout the name of Jesus. He is the one I trust. When I'm alone, when I'm afraid, I know that he is with me every day. He's by my side. He hears me when I pray. Jesus, I trust in him. I'm gonna run, run, run to his love, love, love. I'm gonna sing, sing, sing to God's son. I'm gonna shout, shout, shout the name of Jesus. He is the Shine! Friends, did you hear him too? Aha! I did hear him! Hi, Shine. We've had a great Bible adventure. Do you remember the answer to the question, what do you say when you're afraid? Yup, yup, yuppers! Friends, say it with me. Goodbye, fear. God is here. <laughs> we! And what Bible verse did Guy teach you? Friends, let's say it for shine. Isaiah 41, 13. The Lord your God says to you, do not fear, I will help you. <laughs> God will help you. What did you find out about the picture passes? <gasps> the moon reminds me of when it's dark at night. Emily, are you afraid of the dark? Not anymore, because God helps me say goodbye to fear when I pray and trust him. The shield helps remind us that we can fight fear with God's help. And when God helps you fight fear, nothing can stop you from doing what you need to do. Yeah, not even spooky spiders or scary snakes. And then there's the seatbelt. What's that got to do with fear? What do you use a seatbelt for in a car? It buckles me into my seat, nice and safe. God keeps us safe too when we follow Jesus. We don't have to be afraid. Yeah, that's right. I can say goodbye to fear because God's always taking care of me. <laughs> we, now let's pray that our friends can say goodbye to fear too. Okay, friends. Bow your heads and close your eyes. We're going to talk to God together. Dear God, help us to trust that you are always with us to help us. We do not have to be afraid of anything. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Flying lions, it's time to go. We'll see you next time for another Bible adventure. Bye-bye, friends. <laughs>